Terrorists are in Dustin, Florida. What a living nightmare. Yeah, we love their money, but by God, they're obnoxious and horrible. I don't know how people can come on vacation and be so evil. It is really disgusting. Um, not fun. Everybody's looking for a bar. There's no bars open here. There's no bars and no gyms open. It's a law. <laughs> so, even in Dustin at the Harbor Walk Village, there's no bars open. You can't sit at a bar. No, it's not happening. Six foot rule, buddy. But, it's hot today. It's 78 right now. And it's, uh, 955, 78 degrees. It was smoking hot today. Not a lot of breeze, but I'm gonna tell you, Crab Island. I have never seen more boats in my life, and I've videotaped it and photographed it. There had to be at least 2,000 boats out there, and it was all the way across the bay. I don't know how any other boat boats got through because it was just miles of them. And uh a lot of people in Dustin today. I'm not sure what was going on because somebody had mentioned that today would be really booming and it's not the Memorial Weekend yet, but I want to tell you there were a million people in town for something or other. So, uh, and lots of kids out. Uh, in that later part of the evening there was a lot of kids out. But, But, uh, it was unreal. At one point, down at Harbor Walk Village, there, there was at least 200 people all around the rock wall. Like, you couldn't even get through. They did open the Skyline today. There was a couple rides on the Skyline. It was supposed to open in another month, from what I was told by employees, but... They had a few riders on there today. Just a few, because that ride's kind of expensive. Um, but, uh, Harbor Walk Village, Destin, Florida, was hopping D. They're getting ready to charge that $10 parking fee, so make sure you have your money out when you go through the gate. Because you'll be stuck in a line and won't be able to turn around. It'll be $10 parking. And, uh, some poor fellow this morning, <coughs> him and, and his lady friends and stuff, uh, just kind of wandered around the garage and kind of came up on the other side of me. I didn't see him at first, <laughs> and he looked really sad, and I said, can I help you? And he says, well, how do you get a hold of security? I said, you get on your phone, look up the website for Harbor Walk Village and, and call security. And I said, is there an emergency? I mean, you can call the sheriffs. It, you know, there's not a lot of signal in the garage. And, uh, he says, well, I locked my keys in my car. I said, security can't help you, neither can the sheriffs. I said, you'll have to call a locksmith. And, and on the weekend, be nothing less than 250, probably about 350. To, to get a locksmith or a tow. So, uh, that was a horrible, unfortunate thing. I hate that because that hotel there is like 300 and up a night. So, it's not like they can go, hey, we'll just stay in the hotel. Because it's very pricey. Because this is the spring break now. It's summer. <laughs> because spring break was canceled the first week because of Corona shutdown. So, uh, Destin, Florida area is in phase one of the shutdown. They're considering going to phase two sometime next week if all is fair. Now, there's only five Corona deaths at the current time in the county. Uh, but there's tourists coming from Massachusetts, New York, and all the massive lockdown places. A lot of New Jersey, too. Uh, and um, they may
may be bringing the virus to the Dustin, Fort Walton area. And if they do, then we'll be back in shutdown again. And it's very painful because a lot of people have not been able to make their rent. They haven't got the coronavirus checks. Some of those checks are taking up to 26 weeks to arrive. Um, and uh, because some of them, they're not even going to do direct deposit. If your direct deposit doesn't work, they will mail it to you. So it will take a very, very long time. But um, uh, the traffic's not too bad at the present moment. But generally after about 7 o'clock, it, it thins out a little. So the hotels are slammed. There's a ton of people in town. Here's a guy who can't figure out how to drive. Man. Looks like they have to travel all the lanes. But, um. Here is somebody riding down the sidewalk, which is illegal. Over here. You gotta be in the bike path. bike path Florida style to the right there. Normally it's a bit wider than that, but it's bigger than California. Because in California, I got to tell you, it's like six inches from the curb. I know because I've been stopped by the police several times in California that when I was a kid. Um, they've almost got the renovations to this road done. had a lot of sheriffs out on Eglin Parkway today in the morning, like every few blocks, watching for speeders, uh, and they're just sitting right in the middle of the highway, clocking in. So, be very careful. The biggest offense you could have in Florida is drugs, guns, and drunk driving. So, please be careful. Everybody wants you to have a great time, but we want you to be safe. I want you to stay alive and other people too also. So, um, Arbor Walk Village does have the six foot rule and all the businesses are required to wear gloves and masks and it gets hot out there. So please respect everybody. But uh, only a couple of the kids rides are open at Arbor Walk Village because some of them won't pass for the coronavirus. They can't operate them by law. Because they're all registered with the state of Florida amusement park. So they have to follow the law and the city law. I just about got this road finished. It'd be nice when they get it tidied up. I thought they'd got most of it done during shutdown. So it'd be done with. But it's taken, I think, two years. Two, three years to get this far. <laughs> Just a hair early. I didn't need to stop there. I need to go over here. Kill some of these lights on there. Uh, hunting lights on there. And turn those off. And light them off. That would be very nice. Let's go over here and see what Destin Commons is doing. They were just starting to close up. Over at Harbor Walk, they're only supposed to be open about seven, but the restaurants stay open a little bit later. But they have an option if there's business to stay open a little bit. 
So the stores just started closing about 30 minutes ago. Over there. Let's go see what Dustin Commons is doing. Probably nothing because they close at 7. And next week they're supposed to be staying open till 10 p.m. 9 or 10 p.m. Something like that. Don't know. It'll be 9 or 10. I'm not sure if it's the 9 or the 10. This many people in town, they should have stayed open. Come to Harbor Walk Village, please don't wear your tea bag. It is a family place. It's not proper. You know better than that. The sheriff's come down to you really in trouble. Because all that went out years ago when people used to wear some tea bags at a couple of the private beaches and all that. And uh, and even all the way in Panama. They, they'll give you a ticket. The strip joints are closed, and so are the tea bags. Sorry. Well, they're kind of done over here. I gotta cruise around up through here. I'll talk to you guys later. Have a great one. Enjoy the lovely weather. Get outside and get some vitamin K. Bye.